Hello everyone, welcome back to our QGIS tutorial video. In our previous tutorial videos, we have already worked with the vector as well as raster data. And in this video, we will be combining the vector and raster analysis and discussing how to convert the vector data into raster data and vice versa. After conversion, you can make use of both vector and raster data while using GIS as well as during different analysis methods unique to these two geographic data types. While performing analysis in GIS, data conversion increases the flexibility we have when considering the data sources and analyzing methods. Let's try converting vector data into raster format. For that, I have loaded three types of vector data that are points, lines, and polygons. For now, I will be using the point layer, so I will click here, which includes the data of DHM stations of Kathmandu Valley. In order to convert this data into raster format, QGIS provides us the rasterize tool. This tool allows us to convert a zip file into raster and applies the value of a specified attribute field to the cell values. For assessing the rasterize tool, click on raster, go to conversion, click on rasterize, vector to raster. A dialog box like this will appear. In the input file, you need to select the layer which needs to be converted into raster format. I will be selecting the point layer of DHM stations and you can select the attribute field from this drop down. Now select the path to save the output raster file and provide the suitable name as converted point layer. Click on save. Here we need to provide the raster resolution for the output layer. For that I will click on raster resolution in map units per pixel and put the horizontal value as 100 and vertical as 100. Then click on OK. A raster layer will appear in your map canvas but we can observe that the layer is blank. So let's go to the properties and change the render type as single band pseudo color and click on load minimum maximum values and then tick minimum maximum select the accuracy as slower and then click on load then change the mode to equal interval and make the classes as two Let's change the color of the null value to white so that the points can be seen more clearly. Then click on apply, ok. The raster point layer looks like this. Let's compare the vector point layer and raster point layer. In this way we can convert the vector point layer to raster point layer. Likewise let's convert the vector layer of streams into raster format. Go to raster, conversion, rasterize vector to raster and select the input file as the streams. Then provide the path for saving the output file and give a suitable name, streams. And provide the raster resolution. 200. Go to properties, render type to single band pseudo color, load minimum maximum values, accuracy slower, click on load, mode equal interval and then classes to change the color of the null value to white. Okay. The raster line layer looks like this. We can clearly observe the difference between vector stream layer and raster stream layer. After that, let's convert the vector polygon layer of municipalities of Kathmandu Valley into raster format. Go to raster, conversion, rasterize and select the input file as municipalities. Then let's change the attribute field. Here we will select the attribute field as safe length.
and then let's provide the raster resolution 100 then click on ok we can observe the raster polygon layer here let's go to properties and select the render type as single band pseudo color load minimum maximum values Since we have lots of municipalities in Kathmandu Valley with different set length, so let's change the classes to around 25 and then select the color ramp as random. Then make the color of null value as white. Click on OK. Apply. Here we can observe the color for each municipality according to their set length. Now let's learn the opposite conversion from the one that we did before. I have already loaded two raster data that are of streams of Tolkha. And another is DM of Kathmandu Valley. At first we will be converting the raster stream layer of Tolkha into vector format. Then go to raster, conversion and click on polygonize raster to vector. In the input file you need to select the raster layer which needs to be converted into vector format. I have selected Dolakai streams and then provide the path for saving the output vector layer as vector streams Dolakai. Click on save and then you can also use the fill name and use max option. Then click on OK. We can clearly observe the difference. In the similar way, let's try converting the DM of Kathmandu Valley into vector format. Go to raster, conversion, polygonize and select here as DM Kathmandu. DM vector. Click on OK. Then click on OK. You can observe the DM in vector format now. And you can observe the value of elevation in the attribute table. In this way, we can easily convert the formats of the data in QGIS. That's all for this video and in our next video, we will be dealing with some of the geometry functions for the vector layer in QGIS. Thank you for watching our tutorial videos. You can get connected with us through our official website, Gmail, Facebook and Instagram pages. And please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.